Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Fair use act, fair use act. This is for commentary purposes only. I'm trying to do a segment. I just want to host the show. And there's this guy that walks in dressed as Grimace from McDonald's. And here he is. He grabs the microphone. He knew it was a big release day. We got Kyber 3.0. That's what we got to do. That's what we got to do. What's up, Lex? What up, baby? How you doing? What's I up, baby boy? Here because I'm sitting there. I'm watching my man hosting and all of this stuff. I'm like, okay, okay. In the, in the fly outfit. I don't know that that's, that's a hosted outfit. It's a host. It looks good. So you see Ryan Clark was up there trying to discuss the draft and everything. And then Stephen C. Smith comes in and does what he does best, which is interrupt. You know, he can't let anybody get they shine. Um, Stephen C. Smith has basically been a fossil who really needs to be kicked off of everything He's already finna lose everything because Shannon's been killing him on first take. Then you got, um, and then you got, um, Ryan Clark getting this new deal, you know, which is big time for, um, Ryan Clark. Um, and he had to put Tiki Barber to bed. If you're on the Patreon, you already see what we said about Tiki Barber. <laughs> Ain't nobody worried about you, dog. <laughs> you were dead to us a long time ago. Now, why would you come up on Get Up and just interrupt? You know, you could tell Ryan Clark was, you know, being nice and everything, but I don't believe Ryan Clark wanted you there. I don't. He didn't want you up there. He didn't want you up there. You always got to come and try to steal the spotlight. Nobody can have their shine unless you're around. And basically you're up there because you know that your time is done. When Ryan Clark, when Ryan Clark got that money, he's going to replace you and Shannon's going to be up there with him. I could see Ryan Clark running everything or you can have JJ Reddick who really just be talking out his butt you know, but this is what Stephen C. Smith does. He was, he was on, um, he was on, um, vacation while everybody else was hosting the show. But we know what the vacation was about. It was about seeing how the broadcast could work without you. So, and this is Fair Use Act, Fair Use Act. So here we go. And so what they give me, they gave me C Dub, JJ, Austin, two of my favorite college players of all time. And I know you're looking and you're like, where is Stephen A? No, we don't have on no colorful shirt. No, we don't have on white ties. And we got the fresh face with the line in real low. So y'all tune in today. Tap in. We got hoops. We got football. It's gonna be a good dang time. And like I said, I'm locked in for three more years. So this is just the beginning. You see that? See how see see how he um see how he stole the show <laughs> just like that. Stephen A's done. Stephen C. Smith is done. All of his buffoonery is done. <laughs> like you know, I ain't even really talk about it because shout out to Carcino, he been killing him, <laughs> but. They had him in greenie seat on get up and they had him in the first take seat. 
and Ryan Clark got the pivot going on. And this is what I was trying to tell people. Stephen C. Smith is terrible. He's nobody. He goes around and steal people's stuff. He goes around and tries to be something that he's not. The guy's a clown. He's been disrespectful. And then I didn't even cover the thing with him and Jason Shitlock because it's two buffoons going at it. Who cares? They're both frauds. They're both haters. They both work for Massa. I mean, what are we talking about? And then you're going to interrupt dude like that. Now, Ryan Clark just got off of burying Tiki Barber. Everybody's trying to say Tiki Barber annihilated him. Listen, if you on the Patreon, we already handled Tiki Barber. We know what Tiki Barber is. That's why when he said what he said about Saquon, it was out of bounds. Like you, you don't have the right to speak on nobody because I didn't make a video on my page because it's not worth it. Tiki's not worth, <laughs> worth to be on my, on my public platform. So I just put his punk ass on the Patreon because he, he's always done that. Ryan Clark has always been there. The only thing I disagree with Ryan Clark about was the Deshaun Watson stuff and the other things. But other than that, you know, you know, I sometimes, you know, Ryan Clark, he'll be in the right lane and then he'll go to the left. It's like, bro, what are you doing? But I understand, you know, he has to appease different different people. He has to appease a different demographic than me. Me, you know, my demographic is basically going to be the brothers. <laughs> and then I have women as well. Some women. The women who can listen to me, who support the page, thank you guys. <laughs> you know, you guys are a blessing. I mean, you gals, excuse me, are a blessing. But he hosted to get up, did, you know, doing his thing. Ryan Clark is going to be doing what Stephen C. Smith was doing. And Stephen C. Smith's going to be gone. So he better um he better make sure that DraftKings or whoever he with. You know, got his best interest and all of that because dog, nobody care about you no more, bro. People are really sick and tired of your buffoonery. And the way you just eviscerate KD, Kyrie, and all these athletes, it leaves a bad taste. It leaves a bad taste in a lot of um it leaves a bad taste in a lot of athletes' mouth. You know, and this is what I try to tell people. People think I get upset because it's, it's because of journalism or them criticizing. I don't have a problem with you criticizing players. But if you don't criticize players differently, I mean, if you criticize players, excuse me, differently, you know, then I have a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got you got white athletes. You got black athletes. Listen, I don't care. If you get the job done, you get the job done. You know what I'm saying? But if you're going to just criticize black athletes and not really go after the white athletes or any other race of athlete, then what are you on there for? Because I'm going to criticize everybody the same. I don't care who you are. You're going to get criticized. You know, and that's that's the thing. And then Stephen C. Smith, for you to be who you are, you say you're the voice of the people. Right. Well, why didn't you speak up when LeBronies was going through his thing? When he was going through being accused of taking PDs or performing enhancing drugs, you didn't say anything about it. Now, he allegedly they're saying took it, but I'm not even going to say allegedly you brownies hasn't came out and even addressed the chael son and thing or anything or the kg thing and you being on a platform like espen you can even say nothing even on your own platform 
You didn't say nothing about it. You got your own podcast and you can say whatever you want. Isn't that isn't that the lie you tell us as the people? Oh, I can say whatever I want. I'm Stephen A. Smith. I can do whatever I want. No, you can't. (laughs) You know, if you say something that goes against what they want at Espen, that's your ass, Mr. Postman. (laughs) You know that. So I don't even know why you even lying like that, bro. You know, that's a big lie. So, you know. So, you know, this is just crazy. So, these are the things that I talk about and I preach about every day. But I ain't talked about the Stephen C. Smith everything because I ain't even been focused on it. You know, been doing other things. Been talking about other things. Because he's a waste of time, a waste of space, a waste of breath, a waste of air, a waste of everything. But you're going to go up there and try to try to steal the spotlight from your young guy. Why would you even do that? See, that's the buffoonery I tell you guys about. You're just going to barge right in and try to steal the man's shine. Because you already know your days are done. You know you're out of there. You know this is the guy who's going to replace you. And he's realer than you. He's allowed to say what he has to say to a certain extent. But, you know. So, you know, those are the things that I have a problem with. Now, everybody else may look at it as, oh, man, like, man, don't even don't even worry about it. I'm like, worry about what? Like you, you like people will tell you, oh, don't worry about that, man. You know, you got to let him do. You know, he was just showing love. Stephen C. Smith wasn't showing no love. That nigga was hating. <laughs> I know a hater when I see one. That dude was hating. That boy was doing his Trey impersonation. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> they like, man, she fine as hell, bro. <laughs> but see, they allowed to do that. But the brothers would have did it. Well, she got some cakes for an Asian. I mean, for a Korean chick. <laughs> this is wild. They are funny. But yeah. But yeah, it's it's like you get tired of stuff like that. Like people may look at it as harmless, but you crash in the set of your guy, of your supposedly So, you know, it's just I get tired of this stuff. You're crashing things like you're not letting your brother shine. And we know you like that. You did that to Jalen Rose, man. 
you just let Jalen Rose just go like that, bro. It's like, what are you doing? How you let Jalen Rose go? You let Jalen Rose just get dead the way he got dead. It's crazy. He just let Jalen Rose, like, <laughs> didn't even speak up for Jalen Rose, didn't even show him no love or nothing. It's It's crazy. But this is the stuff that I be trying to tell everybody is that this guy here just continuously is he's just continuously just trying to step in front of everybody, trying to be something that he's not trying to basically tell you something that isn't there. You're not a you're not cool with him. You just wanted to shine in the spotlight because you basically wanted everybody to see. I'm still here, guys. I'm still here. Stephen C. Smith. I know I was going for a couple weeks vacation, but I'm still here. You obsolete, bro. You obsolete. And it's great to see because you a thief. You a liar. You a buffoon. You a B dancer. You the word that rhymes with rune. I mean, <laughs> excuse me, you, you're the word that rhymes with loon. That's what you are. And you continuously show us what you are and what you aren't. And for you to just do that was disrespectful, bro. You didn't have to come on that man's show. That's why he roasted and flamed your ass, <laughs> calling you a grimace, look, <laughs> saying you look like grimace and you do. You look just like Grimace. But that's all I got for it, man. I ain't finna spend all day on this bitch. <laughs> I can't stand this dude. Thank y'all for listening, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit that notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. If y'all do love what y'all love to hear, you guys can super chat me. You know, when the video's live or premiere, you guys can also leave a super thanks when the um, video's over with. You can also cash at me. The link is in the description box and in the comment section. Or you can find me on Zelle. Um, you guys can um, sign up to the Patreon. It's only $3 a month. I got a video I'm finna drop over there. Um, and it's been popping. It's only $3 a month. You guys can, um, you guys will get a video a day. And, um... Yeah, follow me on Rumble. You know. That's about it. Shout out um shout out to um Carcino for Life. Shout out to Scrub. Shout out to Jag, Jeff Bone the Bonehead, um, Lobo, um, Leaf Diggy, One True Emperor, MDT Sports, who did it this time, you know, Detroit T, LB So Wavy, um, Outlaw Montrese. Trey hating ass, <laughs> outlaw, and you know everybody else. Strictly unapologetic. The Mac Mizzle show. Shout out to Chance. You know, and that's what we got here, man. We out, Deezy. <laughs>